Craft National Television. No, this is deserves. And this could be something even better down the road. Yep. For, so it feels like it's just the tip of the iceberg for women's basketball. Time. Yeah. About time, that's for sure. Uh, gorgeous has been again. Once again. <laughs> what a great start to the week. Lots of sunshine across the board. But folks, by this time tomorrow, yeah, no question, I think things are going to get a little bumpy across our viewing area. And it's going to come from that area of low pressure that we see right there that's going to be steadily making its way eastward. Extending ahead of it is that warm front. And along and south of that warm front, as we make away in the next 24 hours, the air is going to be very buoyant. As you get closer to the area of low pressure, you're going to get that turning of the air as well. So this does set the tone for the possibility of seeing some severe weather within this system. This is for tonight, an area, as you can see, from Nebraska down into around Kansas. That's the very likelihood of seeing all modes of severe weather. That warm front extending ahead of it may produce a possibility of a thunderstorm or two in Missouri in parts of Illinois as well. There could be one of those that may actually sneak in uh, from our south as we head into about dawn tomorrow, but very likely not in the severe mo weather mode at all. However, though, that same warm front is going to make its way northward, and guess what? That not only will make our air very buoyant, but we're going to get the turning of the air as well, and this increases that likelihood of seeing severe weather from near Dubuque all the way just east of Galesburg and points westward. The likely chance you're going to get all modes of severe weather from damaging winds to likely in the form of some large hail and maybe a few tornadoes can't be ruled out as well. Here's a large hail potential. You can see that kind of shaded area that we see from Dubuque just east of Kiwani and points westward. That's where we could be seeing some hail. Maybe somewhere in this area some large hail as high as maybe golf ball or even tennis ball size. The wind will be out there as well, especially from these fast moving storms that could have winds exceeding over 60 miles an hour. That's almost a given. And then we have to worry about the turning of the air. These supercell thunderstorms could very likely produce a few tornadoes, especially in this dark shaded area here where we could be seeing those tornadoes as strong as EF2s or higher. That may be winds around 135 miles an hour. The only catch that we have here, if those skies remain cloudy as we head into tomorrow before that activity comes in, that could actually limit our threat of severe weather around here. But if we see at least several hours of sunshine, that's where things can get really bumpy in their sky with plenty of severe weather in store. Plenty of rain too. We could actually be talking about an average of half to maybe even three quarters of an inch of rain given the models that we are looking at come tomorrow. Right now, 74 degrees in Stockton, around 80 that we're noticing in Geneseo, kind of flirting near 80 around Muscatine, Alito, as well as in Burlington. Here are the clouds increasing as we head into later on tonight. Some green blips here may be indicating some of that activity, uh, but otherwise looking mostly cloudy. We'll see how long these clouds last as we head into tomorrow. By dawn, we're looking at temperatures around the low to mid 50s in many of our hometowns, and then climbing in the 70s as that warm front makes its way northward here. But here's where things Things get a little bumpy. This is 130, and we start seeing that development off to our south and west. That will move more north and east. Some discrete cells in here could have a couple of supercell thunderstorms with that by around mid-afternoon. Then we'll keep an eye on a couple more of these discrete cells that could have some nice twist with it and maybe produce a quick spin-up as well. That will be making its way off to the north and east, and then things begin to quiet down as bringing some cooler air and even a couple of chances of wet weather to go with it as well. We'll show you that in more detail with the help of your eight day tracker right after this. Don't miss Shaky Graves as he performs at the Rhythm City Casino Event Center on Friday, May 10th. Ready or not. See the voice behind Ready or Not. Roll the bones. Yeah, let's take a chance. On the bones. A world so full of love. Tomorrow, Dearly Departed, and more. Tickets are available at RhythmCityCasino.com. Here's your eight-day tracker, and as that system pulls away, a couple of later afternoon showers chances Wednesday and a Thursday, but look at the drop in highs. My goodness, dropping around the mid-50s, but we do recover as we make our way in the early next week. Of course, we'll keep you updated here at News 8 as far as that severe weather threat going into tomorrow. Andrew Stusky is going to be with us come tomorrow morning at Good Morning Quad Cities, and he'll give us the latest update on those models that will very likely be updated, a little tweaking here and there as well. But we're ready for severe weather coverage come later tomorrow. I was about to say, even though it's unclear what's going to happen, I know you and the rest of that team will have us all prepared. We are, we, we are, we are in good go. hands here. <laughs> Thank you, James.